Long time no see, treasure hunter. Did you find my emerald? That's a good one. Your emerald? Talking to you is a waste of time. Now, now, Knuckles. Don't insult the Very ladies. Well. If that's how you want to play, I will take it from you. Well, you can try. I mean, you're always welcome to try. I don't, I don't, I don't degrade women for trying. I just can't promise you you win. Rouge is an easy fight, if a bit tedious. See, she doesn't do much. She just tends to run at you. Um, occasionally, she will glide across the stage and she will try. I think she tries diving into you. Um, although that could be Knuckles who does that uh, when you fight her or when you fight him as her. Um, a lot of times she'll get stuck in one of these corners like here and you can kind of just wail on her yeah like like there yep see she drills into you but yeah she'll do that um <coughs> however her most annoying move is by far her flip wave Flip wave is the most annoying thing ever. I don't understand how Sega could have given her such a cheap move. She will constantly just spam flip wave. See? I never lose. Get away from my emerald. She only got to do it twice because I got to her quick enough. But yeah, she will spam. There were times when she was just flip wave, flip wave, flip wave, flip wave, flip wave, flip wave, flip wave over and over. And thus, the Sonic porn community grew three sizes that day. And now we come to Sonic's technically final mission, Crazy Gadget. Well, almost final mission. This is not the mission that has all the rails, although... This is honestly one of his more forgettable ones. Uh, until you get to the end, then we have a problem, but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, literally. So, um, aside from just being loaded with all of these blue enemies and being a general space theme level, the gimmick here is you finally get your flame ring, which lets you break iron boxes, and you use it a total of twice. I don't... Unless you choose to use it otherwise. You use it full of food two times. That bothers me. As I mentioned, it feels like it's literally just a gimmick for this level. Which I don't like. I feel like if you're going to include gimmicks, they should be... The light speed dash is used in literally every Sonic game after this. Almost. No, no I th actually think it is, yeah. 
That said, however, I probably shouldn't do that. I almost landed on the rail. The light speed dash, and I think the bounce attack comes back once. He did use the super spam. And I think one other game. I could be wrong, but I think one other game. Okay. What? There we go. I'm pretty sure I went through that checkpoint. Maybe not the first time, but I'm pretty sure I did that time. And now we're going to be really stupid. And we did it! So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to um, turn the gravity to the right because there's a wall that'll take you down. Uh, and you can jump on the rail that way. But I like to do things the hard way because I'm an American. If I'm not doing it the bullheaded way, I'm not doing it the right way. Granted, I'm probably not doing it the right way to begin with, but you know, I can hope. I, I can hope, I can plead, I can dream. I can be wrong, but I can still do those things. Ugh. That somersault is the worst sonic attack ever. I wish you could just spin dash into him, but because they have a shield, you can't do that, which I always thought was stupid anyway. You can spin, you can somersault into them, but you can't spin dash into them. What is the difference? I mean, you can spin dash into them if they don't have a shield, but if they have the shield, you're supposed to somersault into them. So somersaulting into them at a higher speed means they can block you? I, I don't... I don't follow that logic. Also, camera glitch! See what I mean by it has its fair share of glitches? I'm not saying it's a bad game, but they do happen. A lot more frequently than I'd like them to. But they do. And we use the flame ring once. Oh, for the record, if you really want to know where to get it, it's, uh... Back. You drop down here, you hop over here, and it's right here. Like I said. Perform the fire somersault to break the steel container. This is like my third time trying to record this. Third or second. Or fifth. I don't remember. I tried a few times over the weekend. Didn't work out that well. But yeah, so that is the one time you use it. We'll count how many times we use it. And that's the first time you use it in the game, because you get it here. So, let's just count how many times it's used after this. Twice. Two times. But the light dash is used in literally every level, except the first one. And you can find stuff to break, use it on in the first one, but like I said, backtracking doesn't necessarily make a item worth having. If you're only going to include it as a it, it, it's, it's a really hard way for me to explain what I mean, because obviously level progression means you're supposed to get better things at later parts in the game to unlock new gimmicks. But you should at least use those gimmicks more than just once. Or for one particular level, if that makes sense. And backtracking shouldn't be your excuse for including it in one level. But again, I'm just, I guess I'm just complaining or nitpicking if you really want to go that way about it, which I won't argue, but I also won't say I don't have to. I won't argue that it's nitpicking, but I also won't say that there's no validation in nitpicking, at least a little bit. I wonder, if I break this, what's in it? I think I've used it four times so far. And twice I didn't have to. Maybe three times. And this is the bridge that we have to cross now. This is the part of the level that I absolutely hate. The gravity room. And it starts with a series of issues that just kind of bugged me as a kid and then continue to bug me more. Let's start with one. Who's talking in the beginning? 
Is it Eggman? Because it doesn't sound like Eggman. Is it one of the game's developers for a joke? I don't know. I, I can't, I can't place the voice. Number two, or number Q. We'll get to it in a second, because we're coming up to it. I do believe this is it. I thought, when I was younger, that I was supposed to go up there and hit that blue platform to continue, which you can do, but you're not technically supposed to do, I don't think. You're supposed to go down here. And I could never make that jump, granted that's just me. But another problem I've had is with that particular rail and the spring in particular. Occasionally, very rarely, it is not often, but it has happened rarely enough that I will hit that ra spring and I will miss the rail. And that bothers the piss out of me. But uh, getting back to the point I was talking about earlier, that little bit with the uh, blue block the, and the yellow block, the way the camera is angled doesn't really give you the idea that you're supposed to go down. It gives you the idea you're supposed to go up, which I guess you can do, but I can never do it. And that always pissed me off. But after clearing hell, we now clear this yes. level. And... I'm gonna guess I got a C. Yeah! Just made it. Now, I leave you with the cutscene. I feel like Sonic would have asked at least once for Tails to do something before this point. Welcome to the final fight with Eggman. Well, this particular final fight with Eggman. The biggest pain in my ass that I've ever experienced. And it's because Eggman can use his special abilities. Like that one? Yeah. 
No. Did we win? That's what I call lucky. Eggman's special attacks are annoying. I feel some strange energy. Goes, Wait for me! Where are they? And this is the final level in the hero side of the story. Final rush, right? It did say final rush. Was I right? It said final rush. I think it said final rush. I'm just gonna go with final rush and hope that I was right. Probably wrong, but you know what? I can hope I was right. Anyway, final rush. Levels, rails the level. Let's we'll just call it rails the level. And that is the biggest reason I both simultaneously like and hate this level. You get to do some cool stuff like that, but if you're not good at grinding or keeping your speed up on the rails, Sonic will stall, you will fall, and it will be game over. The uh, blue dude with the tude does not like to stop moving. However, if you're a dick like me, you can do this. And hope that you land on the rail, because I'm probably not going to, but you know what? <laughs> Apparently, you never learn without taking chances. Oh god, oh god, no! I deserve that. Oh, what? No! Could you imagine if I had made that? Time to cheat again! This is not a good idea. You can homing attack out of that. Okay. You know what? No more trying to be cool. Being cool isn't the most important thing in life, kids. You should always try to... Hope that you survive when you apparently can't. <laughs> okay, when I try to do it... It doesn't work. No, screw you blue dudes. No! What? What? Too cool for school! I understand you probably didn't come to this let's play to watch someone die a bunch of times because they're trying to be cool, but I'm too cool for school. And if you're too cool for school, well... If you're too for cool for school, I don't need to explain to you what it's like. Oh, um, also, I think the green X's mean you can trick off the rails or jump off of them, uh, but I don't, I, I can't say that with any sort of a... Oh my god. I can't say that with any sort of accuracy. Why? Why? Why am I alive? Hey, we made it to a checkpoint. Damn it! Damn it! That's, 
That's what I get for cheesing the rails. No, no, no. Screw it. I don't care anymore. I kind of care. In later games, Sonic can homing attack into those, but uh, in this game, you have to aim, kind of. I think he can homing attack into them, but it feels much more like you have to aim where you want to hit him. In the later games, it feels much more automatic. You can also homing attack into rails, which I think is a good thing and a bad thing. Homing attacking into rails helps you keep your momentum up and it helps you keep moving faster. It helps you make better decisions or make... It helps you make more confident decisions, knowing that you're going to hit where you want to go. Takes out some of the skill involved in landing on those rails. It really does, but uh, the downside is if you're trying to homing attack near a rail and it doesn't register that you're hitting anything, it will just send you straight back into the rail. It can really screw you up. Like that. I feel like originally they didn't have those walls there. Ah, you bastard! That was not what I wanted to do. Well, this is simultaneously my worst and most hilarious run of uh, Final Rush. And it's probably going to be the one I upload. No point, but yeah. what? So yeah, I guess you can jump off of the green ones. Renegade for life! And... No, we didn't make it down. I can hope! I could also attempt another suicidal jump, but uh, something tells me that's probably not the best idea right now, so I'm just gonna... go the regular way. Most of you might want to see that in a... No! Whee! I think if you go down different holes, you wind up in different places, but I could be wrong. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. And we made it! Yeah. And with that, we have cleared up the hero side of the story. With yeah, an E rank. Aren't I cool? Now we just have to have the final boss fight. You never cease to surprise me, Blue Hedgehog. I thought that capsule you were in exploded in you space. You know what can I say? I die hard. You actually saved me, you know. It was a Chaos Emerald, wasn't it? But there's no way you could have activated the Chaos Control using an Emerald that's fake. So, there's more to you than just looking like it. 
What are you anyway? What you say is what you get. Just a guy that loves adventure. I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. I see. But you know, I can't let you live. Your adventure days are coming to an end. The coolest thing about Shadow, his air skates. Before this is over, I'll show you the true power of chaos control! No you won't. So this boss fight is actually kind of easy, honestly. Um, if you really want to cheese the boss fight, all you really need to do is light... Er, if you can get him to spawn in front of you, what he's going to do is keep teleporting straight to the center of the stage. And at that point, it's just a matter of light speed dashing through him, which I'll show you if I can get him to do it. Because the light speed dash is actually an attack. But it's a matter of getting him to spawn in the center of a trail of rings. You can also somersault into him, but I have a hard time actually lining it up right, so... I guess I can do it easily when I'm recording. Okay, Shadow. No! His attacks are bullshit. You can also get uh, left behind pretty easily. Not what I want to do. You're better than I thought. I'm better than you. Time to put this to it. This is the ultimate. What if it isn't the ultimate shadow? Are you sure? If you're good, you can actually run this in like 30 seconds. It's just a matter of constantly teleporting him, or getting him to teleport into the rings. Because if you can get him to do it once, he kind of, uh, does it in sync. Or it, he does it on a loop. So it's like as soon as you hit him, it causes him to teleport again. The other thing you can do is wait for him to attack you and attack him that way, which is what I did when I was a kid. Because it was easier that way, but, uh... don't necessarily have to do that. This is also a great place to farm lives if you really want to. Um, it's really easy. You just have to light speed dash through three trail rings. And he, as long as you have five rings, you'll be fine. He's pretty easy to avoid. And now we have a life. Of course, you can just do this, but you won't always win that way. Game over, Shadow. And with that, we come to the final cutscene. Sonic, I did it. Awesome job, Tails. Sonic! Yeah. Look outside.
And with that, that was the hero story. Um, I have a lot of nostalgia for this game. I can look past all the problems that I have with it, just to enjoy it. But I can understand where a lot of the criticisms come from, I really can. But I also... I kind of wish that we got games like this again, to be honest. I wish that Sega wasn't so stuck in practicing with gimmicks, but honestly, the gimmicks kind of came from this game because the idea was give each character their own individual gimmick, which actually started in the adventure series because each character had their own storyline, and they had their own gimmicks and their own gameplay. And they refined it into this one where there was really three gameplay styles, but there were six characters to play as, but each character had a different gimmick or each gameplay style has a different gimmick to it, and it's not... Every gameplay style in this game is fun, but they also feel like there could be more to them. The Sonic levels feel a little short sometimes, the Eggman levels, the Eggman and Tails levels feel a little bit... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Repetitive. Just go here, shoot enemy. Repeat. And the Knuckles levels, well, I've complained about them quite a lot. They're two entirely different styles of gameplay when they should be focusing on using both together. Climbing and gliding should be how you get around the stage, which they got in Meteor Herd, but... And I guess Pumpkin Hill did a little bit, but Pumpkin Hill was very much a... Uh, luck of the draw on the location, I feel. Um... game in this music is fantastic. Um, with that said, I uh, really do hope that you enjoyed this Let's Play. I hope that you stick around for the rest of it, and I hope that you enjoy Dark Side Let's Play. Um, and next episode, we should beat the Dark Side, and then we'll be done. Or will we? But that was it. I will catch you next time in the Dark Side Story finale. Eggman steals the research from a military base located on an island to the south. The military's top secret weapon, Shadow, sealed in the space colony park, the Seven Chaos Emerald. When all of the keys have been collected, world conquest will be at hand. Sonic Adventure 2, The Dark Side Story. Long live the Eggman Empire.